uh, welcome to Sairam Triple YouTube channel. Let us uh, discuss uh, model 1B continuation of uh, model 1A. AC fundamentals, alternating current uh, fundamentals. Before getting into the topic, uh, we will see uh, how the uh, AC will be different, uh, different uh, differ with uh, DC, right? Uh, so, AC is this one. Just to keep it in your mind, AC is this one continuously changing its magnitude and there is a time period, frequency will be there 1 by T. But uh, DC, there is no nothing, only one straight line, right? So, there is no frequency, there is no uh, like uh, uh, magnitude changes, right? So, it's a one shot and then one line. Generation of sensor voltage. So, generation always synchronous generator. So, conductor cuts the magnetic field. What happens? Induces EMF in the stator conductor. That's the generation of sensor voltage. Frequency of uh, generated voltage. So, no number of cycles per second. And uh, definitions of numerical values. Average value of RMS value. Uh, RMS value. Average value is... Uh, Algebraic sum of the all the alternate quantities to the base RMS is root mean square form factor RMS value by average value uh, peak factor uh, maximum value by um, uh, average value uh, so next there is a uh, sensorily varying voltage and current uh, phase representation of alternate quantities so phase uh, representation uh, location of alternate quantities so where uh, the conductor moves uh, so the location where exactly the sine wave uh, it will be uh, occurring from the generator that we are going to discuss okay this is a symbol of uh, ac and this is the resistance rl uh, c circuit uh, voltage and current are in phase voltage and current uh, are 90 degree uh, uh, each other and there is a uh, capacitor um, uh, voltage and uh, current uh, is 90 degree and uh, voltage uh, um, lags by current i mean current leads by voltage for capacitor current lags by voltage for inductor current and voltage are in phase with the each other in the uh, resistor okay next uh, generation of ac voltage as you can see the diagram there is a north pole to south pole there is a um, magnetic field is uh, present and conductor this conductor cuts uh, magnetic field what happens induces emf in the output side that is uh, if it is uh, slip ring is present or whatever so it's a ac so light will be glowing right according to faraday's law according to dynamically induced emf according to lenz law according to uh, fleming's right hand rule and generator right so uh, faraday's law first law when conductor cuts the magnetic field emf is induced faraday's second law rate of change of uh, um, uh, flux linkage is equal to induced emf i mean e is equal to d phi by dt if it is minus will be there definitely it's a lens law and dynamically induced emf uh, conductors uh, conductors are rotating magnetic field is stationary so conductor start rotating what happens uh, the emf is induced in the conductor so that's a dynamically induced emf uh, for example uh, generator and uh, if it is statically induced emf that's a transformer conductors are stationary field is rotating and uh, you see uh, Fleming's right hand rule uh, thumb shows motion of the conductor thumb shows uh, uh, motion of the conductor uh, four finger uh, shows uh, magnetic field and the uh, middle finger shows uh, uh, induced uh, uh, EMF or uh, induced EMF uh, you can say okay. so this one is alternator uh, just for your understanding so whatever uh, um, if you visit uh, in the thermal power plant hydro power plant there uh, they are using uh, uh, alternator alternator is coupled with uh, uh, here there is a shaft this one is a turbine so there is a um, turbine shaft rotating with this uh, uh, this rotor rotates there is a conductor present in the stator it's a reverse of decision rotor okay so so collect the current ROIB will, will get it right so this one uh, uh, example uh, pictorial representation uh, of uh, how uh, the generation will occur so these are the magnetic flux lines okay and the conductors are present okay conductor start rotating and conductor cuts the magnetic field what happens induces emf okay and this is the position of uh, uh, conductor i mean uh, position of rotor conductor so this one is uh, like uh, perpendicular this one is uh, uh, parallel to the uh, this field and this is uh, some uh, angle will be there so if it is a magnetic field and uh, uh, armature conductor is parallel there is no induced emf because uh, uh, 90 degree right uh, sorry uh, 0 degree right sin 0 0 0 and if it is perpendicular definitely maximum induced emf right so maximum output voltage see as you can see here uh, uh, there is a e, phi is equal to phi max cos omega t minus n into d phi beta according to Friday's loss of automatic induction minus n into d by derivative of uh, just to substitute over here and what happens um, 
what happened is uh, n into 5 max uh, omega sin omega t so e is equal to m sin omega t i is equal to m sin omega t so angular uh, frequency uh, angular uh, frequency uh, defined as the radiance covered by one uh, second see angular frequency notion just you consider uh, there is a uh, rotor uh, having pulley so it's a circularly circular is a distance i mean displacement is 2 pi and time taken so frequency is a number of uh, cycles per second or 1 by t 2 pi is the displacement t is the time omega is equal to 2 pi f 1 by t is f right that's all so mm, next there is a problem i'll, uh, I'll solve one uh, they have given a question like this i is equal to m sin omega t right so i m is uh, 141.4 directly you can write and sin 314 omega is uh, uh, 314 uh, frequency you can calculate omega is equal to 2 pi f f you calculate so you will get 50 hertz 0 0.02 seconds and because uh, 1, by, 1 by 50 and the instantaneous values of uh, t is equal to uh, 3 milliseconds so 3 into 10 to minus uh, 3 just to substitute over here we we'll get the equation like this okay uh, equations like this okay and this one is this one is this one this one this one this is the problem okay problem just i am sorry i am going to give one omega i am is this one omega is this one 50 hertz 0 0.02 second 1 by 1 1 by 1 4 by 1 4 3 3 Uh, next, uh, we have a uh, definitions of uh, alternating quantities. So, in that we have uh, uh, time period frequency, uh, maximum value, peak value, and uh, average value, whatever. This one is time period, okay? Time taken for completing one cycle. This one is uh, frequency, is number of cycles per second. This one is maximum value, okay? And then our peak to peak value, instantaneous value, alternating current at a particular instant. This instantaneous value, okay? So this is the definition amplitude maximum value of alternate quantities also contains the maximum peak value time period time taken for completing one of cycle or one complete cycle instantaneous values uh, um, alternate quantities at a particular instant frequency number of cycles per uh, second and finally uh, this one is not the universal bus just I'm giving you uh, like uh, uh, extra knowledge advantages of AC over DC so uh, AC is more advantage compared to DC because even though we are using AC right in our home also so dc there is a switching circuit more required and ac you can step up and step down and ac what is um, uh, ac motors are cheaper compared to dc motor because dc motor is uh, having a uh, uh, brushes um, like um, commutators or so many uh, components uh, uh, will be there in the dc motor but ac there is no uh, less will be there so that's why efficiency also more keep in your mind okay And uh, switch gears for AC system is simpler than DC system. So switch gears also less required in AC compared to DC. So DC more uh, switch gear uh, required because DC is dangerous. Okay, compared to AC, keep it in your mind. Uh, 